Good afternoon, church, and welcome to Midweek Sharing. Today is the 4th of November, and today I'm not going to share a message, but more of coming home to church. 2020 is coming to an end. What a devastating year this has been. What it has done to the world's economies has been nothing but horrific. Besides the deaths and infections, one of the saddest things was the closure of churches all over the world. We ourselves have not attended church for about eight months. But praise the Lord! After eight months of closure, we now see a glimmer of hope and we are preparing to go back to church. The board and the pastors have targeted Sunday 6 December 2020 for us to go back to church. Please note that on this Sunday, we will have a combined service with the Teochew, Mandarin and English services together in the sanctuary. We will start service at 10 a.m. and we will have communion to celebrate our return. Subsequent Sundays, the Teochew service will start at 8.30 a.m. and end by 9.30 a.m. The Mandarin service will start at 10 a.m. and end by 11 a.m. And the English service will start at 11 a.m., 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And as of today, we still cannot have live worship or fellowship or singing during service. We will have pre-recorded uh, worship songs, a couple of them, and then followed by the announcements and message. And after the message, we will all need to move up quickly before the next service starts. Now, church, as I was writing these few thoughts, the Lord brought to my attention this verse. Hebrews 10, 25. Not forsaking our own assembling together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the days drawing near. You know, we've been talking about the last days for a while now. These are truly the last days. You know, sometimes, church, I sense in my spirit that some of us have been so used to not coming to church that it has been a comfortable time for them. And I pray that we will not succumb to this kind of spirit. But take this opportunity to prepare ourselves to come to church as a family and as a church to worship the Lord. The Lord has given us this opportunity to go back. We should be happy and excited and thank the Lord for this opportunity. The safety management team comprising Pastor John, Pastor Lai, Deaconess Joyce, Brother Gerald, Brother Alex, Sister Jennifer and myself have been discussing ways and putting protocols and procedures in place as to how to get back to church safely. You know, pray for us. As there are quite a number of things to do to satisfy the mandates for opening the church. We will try and do a video also to see, uh, to help us to know how to come back safely too. Please look out for more details in the coming announcements and bulletin. I will not tell you too much of details because things will change. But one thing is for sure, we will be coming back to church. One of the more pressing need we have is help us. Church without helpers it is difficult for us to, 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 to complete the protocols, to manage the protocols and all that. So please, we are looking for helpers to come to help us and give your name please to Pastor John or myself so that we will have enough uh, helpers to, to manage the protocols when we come back. I have been told that a few churches have been taken to task for not implementing good protocols. So that's why you need to listen to the weekly announcements and prepare our mindset to come back to church. So let's look forward to coming back with excitement and joy in our hearts. We are hoping that before 6 December, there will be we will be able to have some form of live singing, fellowship to some degree. We really hope and pray for that. But if it's not, we will have to follow all the protocols 
or else you'll be taken to task. So, God bless you and see you all back on the 6th December. God bless.